Yo, baby. You ready to let the games begin? Huh? Oh, baby. Cause yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get set. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now with the zip app, um, I'm gonna put a screenshot of the logo on my phone. When you sign up for the zip app, you pretty much pay in four installments. So the first installment, they're gonna take out your bank account, whatever bank account you link, they don't accept prepaid cards. So you have to link a regular bank account. They don't accept prepaid card. I think you can link Chime, but you can't link Chase. I mean, you can link, link, you can link Chime, but you can't link Cash App. It don't accept Cash App, or you got to use your regular bank account. Now, once you um, sign up with Zip, you're able to pay for your transaction anywhere, anywhere your heart desires. You're gonna be able to pay with four installments. That's why I like Zip because I can go into any store and pay in four installments. So, for instance, one fifty-seven, I had to put down. They had to take fifty-one dollars out of my bank account. And then I have three more payments of um, $51 to pay off my transaction. So if you want to save money, instead of doing layaway, which layaway is pretty much non exist They don't even do layaway no more. This is kind of like layaway, but you actually get your items before you get home. Layaway, you couldn't pick up your items until after you pay off your final balance. This, you get all your items now and you just make payments on it um, for the next three weeks. So I, I, if you're trying to go school shopping for your kids and you're short on money or you might not have a whole $157 to spend now, sign up with the Zip app. I also paid for Zip when I went to Marshalls too. So inevitably, inevitably I got over $200 worth of stuff that I was able to take home. And with the Zip app, I only put down 51 plus like $18 or something like that for the $64. I put in like $18. So I only spent out of my pocket a total of like $70 for over two hundred dollars worth of items and as time go on you just make sure that you have the money in your bank account so when they draft your account for your remaining payments you can pay them now let me just also tell you zip also increases your um your spending limit so the more on-time payments you pay with zip so the more on-time payments that you pay the more they will increase your limit so with zip i've never missed a payment with zip so my zip balance goes up almost each month so for me, I'd rather have a credit card that I can take anywhere instead of just getting a department store credit card because with a department store credit card, you mostly can only shop there. With Zip, you can shop anywhere that you want. You pay in four. I will make sure that I keep the link for Zip to sign up with Zip, Zip in my description box. Make sure you click the link. If you're a first-time user, you're going to get a $10 credit. Once you sign up the first time with Zip, you're going to get a $10 credit to use. So they're going to credit your account $10. So that is, that's a little bit of a start right there. You can pick something, a $50, um, go and spend $50 somewhere. They'll give you $10 credit. And then all you have to come up with is less than another 10 maybe not even anything after you pay the $10. You probably might only have to come up with five or 10 more dollars, maybe. I don't know. So your first transaction pretty much is going to be on them. They'll give you $10 to use the first time you use Zip. So make sure you check the description box below and sign up for Zip. It was Zip. You can go anywhere you want. Um, they're gonna increase your credit limit if you pay, make all your payments on time, and you can just shop and do whatever you need to do on and pay in four payments. Again, Zip is gonna be linked in. The